This video will show you how to make array animations in Blender, please watch it to the very end. When you open Blender, first press delete to delete the default cube. Press shift to then go to mesh and add a plane. Now press tab to go to the edit mode. Press S then Y then 1.5 to scale it up by 1.5. Press Ctrl Shift B and bevel them up to this level. Now come down here and click on this drop down arrow to expand on this settings panel. Increase these segments to 3 then press tab to go back to the object mode. Now come to the modifier properties then click on add modifier then go to generate and add a solidify modifier. Increase this thickness to 0.2. Press Shift to then go to empty and add a plane axis. Now select this card then come to the modifier properties and click on add modifier then go to generate and add an array modifier. Click on this box to deactivate relative offset then click on this one to activate object offset. Expand on it then click on this eyedropper and choose this empty. Now if you select this empty and move it around you can see the duplicate card moving along with it. So come back to the modifier properties and increase this array count to a number of your liking. Now if you select this empty and press G to move it around, you can see that it is controlling the array offset. And if you press R and try to rotate it around you can see that it is controlling the rotation as well. Also if you press G then Z and move it up to this level then press S to scale it down you can see how it is controlling the scale as well. So you can always use a combination of any of these to create stunning animations for your project. So press Ctrl Z to have your empty back to its original position. Select this card then click on this Z to go to the top view. Press G then Y then minus 3 to move it up to this level by 3. So you can see that this is not the result we want so come up here and click on this drop down arrow on options then under transform click on this box to activate effect only origins. Now press shift s then click on selection to cursor. So now that the origin is back in the same position as the empty, you can see that it is no longer offset. So select this empty and come back up here and click on this drop down arrow on options then deactivate origins. Now if you press or then rotate it you can see it coming out. So click on this icon to activate auto keying. So come to the object data properties then click on these dots to add location rotation and scale keyframes. Now go to around frame 120 then press R and rotate it up to this level. Come to the timeline then right click and go to interpolation mode then change it to linear. Now if you play it, you can see it coming out well. You can still select these cards then come back to the modifier properties and increase on their array count to your liking. And now we're done. You can now go ahead to work on your scene further in render. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.